Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday video. Now as you can see from the video image, it's all about the Wrapping Machine 2023. The event is almost upon us, in fact it will be starting tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm going to. Now, what does this event entail? Well, I'm going to tell you everything, so sit back and enjoy as we get right on into the video. Now, first of all, Alfred will be delivering this machine to you. You'll see him walking down the road, coming up to your farmhouse, with his little package that he will drop off in front of your farmhouse front door. As usual, if you've got packages there, please make sure you've opened them. Once you've opened up the package, it will say, here is your special delivery. You'll then collect that package. It will then go into your storage, and it will be stored where your production buildings are, just as you can see there. As usual, with any production machine, you can slide this machine out into the game. Now, this is the second time we've done the event, and last year we had a different machine. They're very similar in ways, but it's not the same. So everything that you did last time is not going going to carry over into this year. So if you've still got boats requesting packages, they can't be done because they are old ones. If you spent diamonds on upgrading the machine, I'm afraid they will not be carried over either. It's a complete fresh start with a brand new machine brand new activity and brand new event. Now each of the machines will produce four products, in this case four little gift boxes. Each of these boxes can then be used to complete boat orders, so this is a boat event. Like with most boats you get requests for regular items, but instead of those regular items you also get requests for these packages. Now they could be one color, they could be two colors, or they could be three. Uh, you may find a single one or multiples. Now remember if you've got the packages you are going to need to make those. Now those packages will require specific goods. You can see the round one down there takes 45 minutes on a non-fully mastered machine. Fully mastered takes 40 minutes. That's not so bad. You've got milk down there, which could be a bit of a problem. There's cookies and also the pumpkins as well. Now, once you've made a load of those, build up your storage. And then you can start producing some other packages as well. In this case, there's the red gift. As you can see, 45 minutes for the regular machine and then 40 minutes down there for a reduced. Now, just like most machines, you're going to need specific product ingredients and then again, each ingredient has a specific value. So in this case, like apples requires three and so on as per the image there. When you are producing these packages, it will take a specific amount of time, you will get XP for them, uh, and the resources you're using to make the items will be removed from your storage. Um, so good luck with producing those items. Remember, you can use Tom to request the materials, but not the packages. Now, this one's an hour or 54 minutes for the reduced time. The last one down there is the Choo Choo Gift, which I actually do like as a package. I'd love to get that one myself. That's the longest producing one. It takes an hour and 30 minutes or one hour and 20 minutes. Now, the actual requirements for these can be a little bit on the challenging side. You've got a little bit of time to get it ready. In fact, the event starts tomorrow, so good luck with producing the goods that you need on this one. Now, as I said, it is a boat event, so boats will request those specific crates. You make the items, you go to your boat, and you fill those boat crates. Now remember, you're not the only person doing these events. A lot of players out there like to speed up boats. For example, some of my friends, my mate Ray, that likes doing boats. So why not go and do their crates as well for them if they are requesting? Look at the boat leaderboard. This will give you the opportunity to see who the big players are out there to help their boats. And then gain more of the holly, as you can see here. Now the holly is the key part. The holly is what allows you to collect items in the game. Now once you've collected those holly, it will go up in the top hand corner you'll see your diamonds your coins you'll see your vouchers and then there's the holly box with the actual catalog the catalog will be available for you to open and then the holly can be used in the catalog to purchase some specific items now when you want to open the catalog you've got to go down to where uh, the gift certificates are located so just like you would collect gift certificates the holly allows you to purchase items in this and there's a separate section at the beginning of the catalog for this 
Now as you slide into the catalogue you'll see there's regular items like permits or blueprints, there's expansion materials, but there's also a lot of items that I like, for example Deco. You can see down there the holiday carols which is one I want to get. There's a time limit in relation to when it's coming. You can also see the quantities for the items. Now we were told in the sneak peeks there's some Deco coming and these are some examples of the Deco that you can purchase. I want to get all of these stands, I really really do, uh, but the question is how much are they going to cost? and will I be able to do it? Of course, I'm going to be helping my friends, as will you, in addition to producing my own. Now, how much do these cost? Well, there's the first one, which is the Carol Singers. This one's going to cost you 800 holly. Now, what I've actually done as well is included all the decoration later in this video in an actual live version from the dev belt. So you can see what it looks like in the animation. The next one I really want down there is this one, which is the Snowball Fight. Uh, I really wish I had two of these deco with other animals as well. That way it would be so much cooler for creating a Snowball Fight. But that's 200 holly for this one. The ones that I wanted, this is a uh, paper wrapper decoration. I like this as well. This one's going to cost you a thousand uh, holly pieces if you wanted to get this one. Now, there is one more in the actual album that I've seen in a dev build, and that is this one. Now, this is the sweet stand. I like this one the most out of all of those four pieces. That one's going to cost me 800, so I definitely want to grab that. Now there's a lot of items in the catalogue, but what will you choose is the question. Now remember, when it comes to these machines, this one is a new machine. It's not the same as last year. Now as I said, last year uh, we got a machine, we spent diamonds on it to open up and expand the machine. It's the same factor this time, but the diamonds you spent last year are gone. You're going to have to spend those diamonds again. Uh, in relation to getting the packages, it's the same rules as last time as well, so I'll cover those. Now, first of all, let's have a look at the diamond cost. Now, you can see the slots down there for the standard production machine. And in this case, I've added in the diamond mounts for each of the slots. Your first two slots are empty as usual, so you don't have to spend diamonds. Then it goes 20, 32, 44, 56, 68, 80, and 92. That's pretty expensive, if I do say so. In total, if you wanted to buy all of the slots to allow you to produce more goods, especially when you are sleeping, that's 392 diamonds. Now, if you do need to get diamonds, Diamonds. Remember the Supercell uh, game has the option to purchase diamonds in there, so please do use a creator code like Red Knight as an example or one of the other content creators before you make that purchase. Um, but yes, diamonds, that's going to be pretty pricey uh, in my honest opinion, and it's a shame the diamonds from last year didn't carry over, so sorry about that. Next one down there is boat requests. Now, as I said, you can help your friends. This is the only way to get extra packages. So you can produce your own, but you can also request them. Remember, you can use the boosters as well to actually fill the boat crates, and those boosters do do those crates as well. So if you've got boosters, use the boosters to fill the crates, but you won't get the reward. If you're filling the crates, do them yourself or open them up to your hoodies or to your friends and then they can get the rewards. Uh, but either way, the crates still get done. Now, if you want to ask Tom, hey, Tom, give me some packages. I'm sorry, it doesn't work. As you can see down there, he doesn't have the ability to order those gifts, so he's going to be relaxing, reading a book, and waiting for you to request other items. So request the materials that you need to actually produce the packaging. That's your best option. Next one we've got down there relates to the actual neighborhood request. Same situation. If you're trying to request, you can't do it. Now, your hoodies can fill your crates, but you can't request the products from them. Um, so, again, I'm afraid you're out of luck in relation to getting support from other players, uh, in relation to getting materials donated to you. So, sorry on this case. Now, in relation to the machine itself, there are a number of hours required to level up the machine. You can see there in the image the number of hours it takes to get to each of the thresholds, i.e. the stars. Again, if you want to speed it up, you can use diamonds, but that can be very expensive if you're just doing it straight from scratch. Personally, I'm going to wait the hours. Now, once the machine is upgraded, it goes from a beautiful green to a beautiful red. I like this one. It looks very gorgeous indeed. Uh, but the question is, will I be able to do it? Certainly not going to be spending the diamonds to speed up the machine this time, uh, because it's a loss of diamonds for me. Right, let's go watch the video.
Now, as you can see here, Alfred is walking down the road. He's bringing that package. So as I said, it was a delivery from Alfred. He's the one that's going to be delivering that package to you. Now, if you've got a package in front of the house already, he won't deliver. So make sure there's no packages in front of the farmhouse. Then the package can be delivered. Once the package is delivered, he will walk away as usual. And then what you need to do is just to tap on that package and the envelope will open with all of the information and the machine located. You can then tap on the claim button. That machine will then go to your storage as I mentioned earlier. Now if you open up your storage for the production machine you'll see the number one and it's in the top hand corner. You can then slide it down. Now like most videos I like to do I've done that already so let's slide on over and there is the machine. Now below the machine you can see that custom, or sorry, the decoration that I mentioned earlier. Now it's very beautiful indeed and I do like it. Here you can see all of the slots open, you can see the presents as well, and you can see that they're ticking down. Here's an example of the upgrade. So I'm spending the diamonds just so you can see what it looks like. We're going to go from the green straight to the red machine and I'm going to be spending the diamonds. Now this video here is taken in the dev build. I do not mind spending the diamonds for this. If it were my own farm, not going to happen. Right, now, uh, one more upgrade to do, then it will change from green to red. I must admit, I do like the color. It is very pretty indeed, and it's a very Christmassy style design. Gorgeous. Now, decoration, as I said, there's decoration coming in the catalog. These are those four pieces that you will see in the catalog in a moment when I open it up. They are very beautiful indeed, and here's the animation so you can see what it looks like. These are the ones I want. This one's nice, I like that. I think I will use that one in front of my farmhouse or maybe in my town. This is why I wish I had different animals throwing snowballs. And then again, this is probably the one I really like the most. They are gorgeous. I can't wait to create something uh, with all of these pieces in the town. Now the machine itself, okay, is producing goods. Uh, you can see the speed up times there, the products required, and you, just like a normal production machine, when you tap on the information, it will tell you what you need, and then you just slide the product down into the machine to make it. Very simple, very easy. Now, as I mentioned, it is for a boat. Over here we got a boat. I've requested, as you can see, and if you fill those crates, you'll get coins, and then you'll get uh, the additional uh, holly as well. So, very nice indeed. You know, that holly will go up into the top-hand corner, as I mentioned, and then from that, you have the ability to get points. Now, the holly itself is based on the crates. Uh, as usual with the boat, you're filling the crates, getting the reward. Uh, the player gets all of the other rewards for the boat itself, but it's only the holly on the crate that actually counts towards your stories. That's what you get if you're helping someone. Exactly the same as a normal boat. Think of the event as a normal production machine with items and then fill in boat crates. That's it. If you want to speed up boats, the next boat's going to have the presence until the event is over and done with. Now, what can you buy with the holly? That's probably the most important question. Well, there's the decoration, but there's also a lot of other items. There's expansion permits down there. Now, do look at the prices of these items, because sometimes you may find that the amounts required is a lot less than it was on previous days. So, yeah, pick and choose wisely. Additionally, as well, if you've got a lot of holly, make sure you're spending it all before the event is over. Uh, it will be for a specific number of days uh, and once that time's over the holly like last time will be converted to coins now you'll probably find it better off purchasing the item so go with that one now as you slide on through you'll see the dates down there you'll see there's some lock ones there which are related to reputation 2 and then back to the normal catalog for uh, the gift certificates at the back there Right, that's the decoration, that's the machine, that's the boat, that's the event. There's a lot of cool information I've given you down there. If you have any questions about this, please do let me know later, and then I can answer those afterwards. Okay, that's the end of this video. You've now got all the information you need to know for the wrapping machine, and I hope you like it. If you've got any questions, as I said, please do ask, and if you want to support me, it's code Red Knight in the green box. Additionally, you can watch some of my other videos, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Now, remember, the event starts tomorrow, so enjoy. Bye now.